Welcome to the Corcoran Gallery of Art in Washington, D.C. Let's take a sneak preview at our latest exhibition, Turner to Cezanne, Masterpieces from the Davies Collection, National Museum, Wales. This exhibition presents an outstanding group of 19th and early 20th century paintings and works on paper drawn from the National Museum of Wales. The Davies sisters began collecting during a critical moment in the history of art, when European painting was undergoing a dramatic transformation in style, theme and technique. Turner to Cezanne includes some of the finest examples of romantic naturalism, as exemplified by J.M.W. Turner, through the gritty realism of Millet and Daumier, Impressionism by Renoir, and Post-Impressionism by Cezanne and Van Gogh. J.M.W. Turner's The Storm, painted around 1840 to 1845, was purchased by Margaret Davies in 1908. Known for his atmospheric treatment of paint and moody depictions of nature, particularly the sea, the storm is a masterwork of the sublime. Jean-Francois Millet's The Gust of Wind, painted around 1871 to 1873, is a highly charged romanticist work. The scene is set up on the windswept peninsula in France, where Millet grew up. Perhaps the most iconic Impressionist work in the Sisters' collection is Renoir's La Parisienne, painted in 1874. She's popularly known as the Blue Lady. La Parisienne is bold, bravely meeting the challenges of both the viewer's eye and an uncertain new world. Turner to Cezanne culminates with several examples of post-impressionist works, including the Francois Zola Dam, painted between 1877 and 1878, and it's one of Paul Cezanne's most admired paintings. In 1920, Gwendolyn Davies acquired Vincent van Gogh's atmospheric rain, or Vier, in 1890. This was their only example of his work and one of the very first van Gogh paintings to enter a British collection. This is the first time this painting has been shown in the United States. Turner to Cezanne is on display until the 25th of April. This is a rare and exciting opportunity to come into the Corcoran Gallery of Art and see these works in person.